Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so here we are at the end of the decade and the end of 2019. So, during the beginning of the year I decided to take a video about some of the games that I was excited about at that point. I sat down, made a list, and sat down again, record a video, and turn on the YouTube. And hell, I think it's now, on the end of this lovely year, it's time for me to take a look back on not only the video, but on the list, and see how the games fare with my expectations. And, well, if they are here at all, that's a good question too. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us sit back and enjoy this shit show. This is one of those videos that I end up splitting in a lot of recording sessions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to talk about this one, it's going to be a very short and very interesting. Because back when, back on, really, really back when, this game was supposed to come out on April. Now, sadly, the game didn't come out at this moment but well it's not all sad faces and gloom the game is still being work on there was a couple updates a lot of updates to be from the developer and a couple updates on the game itself and it is coming along they are saying that now is already working on the last chapter you can see a lot of working answering from the developer they not just bail out and stuff like that I highly recommend you take a little bit of your time to see the project the game seemed to be a very interesting one from what we have on the steam page as I said back then I didn't play the game most likely this answer for why he didn't even start to play it's simply it's a story RPG, so I really don't want to, like, it's the problem of episodic games, I don't want to touch until the thing is entirely finished, but it still may a couple times, I'm gonna, as always, leave a link for the game in the description below, and, well, I hope the game is finished until maybe next, the beginning of next year, I hope something like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, go take a look. Long day, long gone days. Sorry, I fucked up on the name once, but here we have it. Now, let's go for the more positive ones before I end up in a little bit of a rage. So, even if I do hope then long gone days end up coming out on Christmas or something like that as a a miracle of a Christmas miracle or a Christmas gift I don't have much hopes on it but with honorable mentions out of the way let's go for the only game that end up being a full let's play for this channel from that list so that may be not that great of a track record huh so I'm talking about spin morality I have to say then the game end up being on par or a little bit above my expectations. Not gonna lie, the fact that maybe the release date for the game being rather close to the time that I end up making that video may had something to do with my expectations were a little bit on check. But I have to say, there was still a couple problems that I had during my let's play on it. More likely by a little bit of a lack of interaction with the world, even if their the main focus was about selling products to the world. What I'm talking about was, well, no matter what the, to the way that you do stuff, there was not difference. Uh, the public doesn't see you any different, and even from people that you talk with, quote unquote, uh, they are very one-sided on your interactions with they. You don't have like people who. I know, I know what the like the game were trying to pull you into, but uh, I really wish there was more interactions with other people. Uh, the board existed, and I even if I was like ready to get screwed by day, it was the other way around, and I know that it was the objective in some way, shape, or form. There's still something that I wish. <sighs> I had more people to talk, more people to interact with. But the game has 
been a it's been getting a lot of updates even since its release. A lot of different ways may end up coming to and maybe I end up getting a new let's play of it in not a distant future to see how they manage with all of those new updates and all of those new interactions. Maybe we end up getting a couple of new interactions and things like that, but I'm not that hopeful for it because the game does have a very quote unquote very close narrative about it. So yeah, I think that for narrative for the narrative of the game, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. There will not be any major change for it. But mechanically, maybe there was new things added that I didn't see. But I'm still going to say that that was a very positive outlook to the game. My expectations were not high, were not high, and the game ended up suppressing those, suppressing those, not suppressing. But ladies and gentlemen, well, let's start to going to. One other game that make a interesting appearance on this channel. Well, well, well. That's gonna be a hell of a video, huh? Yeah, for something and start with okay expectations and really end up going a little bit above of that. Let's go with something that I was more or less kind of hyped for and had a very positive initial impression of the game, but end up having. I'll just say a bucket of cold water throw at me. We're of course talking about the Division 2. I'm still holds the fact that the Division 2 has a very good 1 to 30 experience leveling up from the beginning and even the quote unquote story is okay at best. But for so many reasons the way the game was handled the Lack of of uh, the diversity and builds the way then the nerf hammer just came down many times. I have to admit it. It's a long, long time since I touched the game. I think the m a little bit after the last time that I really go was after the first time the expeditions came around it was really the last time that i even think about the game i don't know if the second raid came out i didn't ever touch the pentagon on the content i think they are probably on the second episode of the first year and i don't know what is happening to the game it's really I don't know if I would say sad or strange to see then we a game that I was very hyped about died so fucking quickly on my attention span. In the end, I don't think it is a bad game, but I think the way it was handled during not the development itself, but the way it works on it, the the live service aspect end up being a lot problematic. The events, well, I don't know if they are not very well communicated, but something like that also happened. The lack of matchmaking on the real the on the real difficult of the raid at for as I said, for what I played, still a little bit of a sour note and stuff like that isn't very good the game is not a uh, up to par on the expectation and it end up falling from grace with me really really fast it's a sad state of affairs but the division 2 it may be the first crack on the ubisoft problems well to be honest maybe the major one that we see but Let's see what Ubisoft does next. Like they're not the first, the next, the next big thing will be or an Assassin's Creed game or their Watch Dogs one. I certainly believe it will be the Watch Dogs. I don't believe they're gonna do anything else really big. But I'm not following that much the leaks about Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. And to be entirely honest. If I have to do a 2020 excited games, 
I don't think this is gonna be one of those. To talk about Yakuza is a very interesting subject, most likely because I didn't end up finishing the game. I think I didn't end up even going to the half of the game. And even now, talking about thinking about the game, the excitement from the first time that I talk about it, then I, well, the game gonna come out on PC and I gonna sit down and play it. It's coming back to me, so I may even restyle the game. Probably never delete from my hard drive in the first place, so I'm gonna end up going and restarting my playthrough. But if you ask me on a month or two, I gonna probably say, "Shit, I didn't finish that." So the cycle will begin it again. I will go back, and since I'm gonna miss a couple plot points, don't know where the fuck I am, I will end up just saying, "Well, here we go." Let's start again, and I get to play for two weeks straight, only thing that I play, except for things for the channel. And in the end, I will drop it for some unexplicable reason. It's very interesting to know those facts, then, well, for some reason I'm always dropping out of this game without finishing. Maybe it's the fact that it does have a lot of side quests. It may be the fact there is really a lot of things to do. And you end up getting lost on it, and you never end up accom not accomplishing something because you end up doing, but pushing forward on the story, and the main story end up fading a little bit from your head, and then you end up playing something else. But I don't know. I s all the good things then came from Yakuza Zero f that I played is reflect on Yakuza Kawami. I never gonna try to pronounce that again, but the remake. And I'm still. I'm really glad they are bringing the series to PC, and I hope it's doing well enough. So they keep putting the remakes on PC, on PS4, and they bring the sequel to PC. Even if it takes one year, extra year, to, for us to get the real game, I'll, I will buy it that. Yakuza, the remake, it's a great. Yakuza has a whole. is a great series. It's something that I. Even if I will maybe never finish Yakuza 1, I will always recommend it because it was it is one of the best open world quote unquote games. Simply by the way, then the city, the city, the hub world, and you're playing it feels a lot more lived in than most of the gigantic and enormous cities than or literally just ghost towns. But well, ladies and gentlemen, that is for the well, quote unquote, good part, even if I talk about the division. And well, you might understand why if you saw the first video. If not, shit's gonna get fucking real, mate. Well, I think I can tackle two games in one sitting, recording setting. Because, well, Outer Worlds. Didn't even play it. To be entirely honest, I didn't even knew it came out after. It took me a while to discover it because, well, first I already when I discover about the epic deal, I already were off. I said, "Fuck this shit! I'm not gonna be playing that." I could pick it up on Microsoft Store. I think it is there or for the console, but the bad taste would be in my mouth and. Because of that, I said, fuck this shit, I'm not gonna play. And I know many people would say, well, you can just Jack Sparrow it. And I, even that wasn't, I didn't have the motivation for it. It's like I didn't even care to look it up. The excitement really died down, and well, there you go. There is really not much to talk about it, there's not much to even point it and laugh at it. Sadly enough, I don't think it is a game that one. That's one of the things I don't see many people talking about it. I didn't see many people talking about. It. To be honest, even after the times and I see, the only reason why I remembered this fucking thing was a thing is because of this video that I am recording right now. But the next one is a little bit different. Let's talk about Phoenix Point. 
Phoenix Point is the great deception and I had this year. Not only for the fact that it ended up striking a Microsoft deal. But, well... I'm not gonna say the game is bad. The game is different. But I don't think the different is a great thing. First, I remember hurting... First, yes, I did play the game. No... I didn't bought it neither on Microsoft Store or on Epic. A friend of mine still end up not end up not refunding and during a work thing that we had to do, we end up going off out of town with me and Ian. And he was trying to play on his notebook, but his notebook was kind of potato, so we end up selling on mine and we work for like we played during the time that we were not on the working hours. But it was not the great fucking thing. Now, I have to say something. We didn't got very far on it. Like we got on we end up having a full alliance with one of those with one of the factions. But that was pretty much it. There is good on there is a little bit of a good on the game, but there is a lot of bad. First, one of the things that I found very is interesting. I didn't see the Behemoth fights. I remember on the marketing, a lot of they saying there you would have to go and fight those those larger creatures or stuff like that. And after a little looking up into a, this, I heard they cut that out from the release game. Maybe they will come from a, as an update or a DLC, but uh, it's interesting to see then. Even with the money they end up getting from Epic Store, they weren't able to keep up some of their promises. Besides that, the gameplay is strange. Uh, it's very it's interesting seeing this now, but they handle a lot of things in a very bizarre way. First, I don't have a sense of progression in the game. Uh, not on character progression, because yeah, your characters are, does level up. But on researching and equipment, I never saw like, oh, okay, I got this cool new equipment. Like, yeah, I got a shotgun, then a grenade launcher. Oh, now I have an arc, their, their own version of an arc thrower. Oh, I can do mutations. Yay? Like, I never had, like, the moment where I got a, this cool, excited technology. For example, I had psionics on XCOM or anything likewise. New type of armors for my characters or stuff like that. All of it came from, like, getting research for any of the factions or aligning myself with the... It always felt a little bit off. The free aim is very cool, but... I don't know, it doesn't feel right. A lot of the game end up that There is some cool concepts, but the game doesn't feel right. The game feels very unpolished too, so I think it, it need. It's strange as it sounds, I do believe the game needed a couple more... Maybe the, it's supposed to be a 2020 game, so maybe in the end, everyone who end up getting the... On Epic Store, or even on Microsoft Store, for that matter. Well, you end up getting the beta. I hope the DLC fixed that. I hope the DLC gives a couple more thing. In the end, after like all the time that I I spent playing, me and my friend, we arrived to an interesting conclusion, and that's the conclusion that I have for the for Phoenix Point. Well, I kind of really want to know what is. New Jericho's plan to solve it. What is Phoenix Point plan to solve it? The Pandora virus. What is Sanidrian plan to it? We didn't care for the disciples because fuck the Xeno, oh, uh, the Xeno sympathizer. In our heads, yeah, we want to discover all those things, but the work to put in it doesn't like worth it. And even the friend he said, ah, even after that, I didn't play much most likely was fun picking on the game and in some of the fucking strange aspects to it 
But in the end, it was more of like this. It's a great starting point, but since the game was not developed enough, for example, I think, oh, all the factions should have a third tier for the factions because I knew when we align ourselves with a new Jericho, we noticed there was a second tier for the guns, maybe. For the cell rifle, we have we know that for sure. But all the the factions need a second tier of everything. And, for example, Phoenix Point should have an upgrade version for their weapons and equipment. So then we didn't have it. In the end, Phoenix Point fails, in my honest opinion. It seems it didn't learn anything from the success of XCOM 1 and 2. And it didn't build enough didn't build enough on its own foundation, the old games. But I don't know. It, it's an interesting beast. Let's see what happened on 2020 when the game is maybe finished. Well, to end the video, to end the decade, to end the year. It was a crazy ride nonetheless. I have to say this is a very strange. By the fact that one only, only one of the games were featured has a full let's play on the channel and even the division 2 i did it end up doing a couple of videos were not that good yakuza was the only one besides spin morality then i was then my excitement still very high epic store fuck over my expectation from other words and phoenix point even though I think Phoenix Point fuck over its own expectations, so yeah. Maybe it's not fully the fault of Epic Games this time. It was a crazy ride. 2019 was interesting. And still two new two other videos that I have to do about the worst game the worst games and the best games or something like that. But ladies and gentlemen, well, it was a good year. With all of that, the good and the bad, it was an interesting one. I'm still gonna do one more video capping up the end of the year for the channel. But I hope you see I see you for whatever comes next on this shit show. And if you want to take any message for this thing is don't be overexcited of anything. The hype train is never good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a dislike. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. And if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe. And see you guys on the next episode.